outside, they were saying something about it. But inside, we were okay. So we found out that we get used to ourselves within that period. The love was getting stronger, even though there was nothing to call for. There is no resources and all that. But we keep seeing the future. I can remember one time, my wife now told me that even while things were going on, I look at that you become a great man. He always tell me. So oh, even in the midst of that, of that said, so no, you know, so I've been in the cup. I, I, I grew up in the ghetto, mm -hmm. and the place where I grew up, there was no flats. We all live in face me, I face you. You know, face me, you see everything. Where a, the husband, maybe for some reason, could not buy something home. And the one you say you are a useless man, mm. serious quarrel in the compound. I'm, so I'm, I will start looking for people to talk to, and people will now start even seeing is it that are you supposed to be responsible? Why can't you do that? But she wasn't like that. Are you so my wife was not like that. So in the midst of this challenge, she will tell you that you, you are going somewhere. No, she was. She will be telling me my future. Okay. okay, like I told you, I said when my dad told me about building a home. That has to do with responsibility and require effort to do that. And I made my resolve on God's word. And after a wedding, we start facing the real thing. Uh, my wife, the first year, no pregnancy. No pregnancy. Second year, no pregnancy. So we decided to seek medical attention to see what was actually wrong because it has, it's not becoming asking of questions i was happy while getting married we have other people that my younger ones and all that if i wasn't married what was happening so we had to start thinking and start resolving our issues by seeking medical attention if there's something that is wrong so we discovered that um from my wife angle it has been designed that she cannot give birth to a child because there was no valopian too. At the moment, that too is ruptured. So that's a challenge to the man. Having a woman that you know, medically speaking, she won't give birth to a child. As if that was not enough, I lost my job. After when I started doing something that was bringing money to the house, I lost the job. So we have two things to, to deal with. My economy, and also that has to do with childbearing. It was so challenging. So challenging. People don't even know the gravity of it. And I also want to encourage every home that if God is fair marriage, God can resolve every challenge. I just discovered through my own marriage. So but when I got that report, I said, there is no way that my wife cannot give birth to a child. It is our problem. It is our own challenge. That's what we want to face, and we are going to overcome it. Yes, you need to challenge to your wife. No, it's not about my wife. It's my responsibility. If I should believe that God can make this thing happen in my life. But I thank God that for her to even accept me, and I made up my mind, that for her to say, this person I want to live with him, I will never disappoint her, no matter what happened. That the decision that she has made, she will know that she made the right decision. So I take it as a responsibility, and I made up my mind that that child will come. So we resolve. And do, let me start with the finance. We had serious challenge with our finances to the point that we could not afford from certain things, I could not give my wife a better life the way I wanted to. It wasn't the kind of marriage because I, 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 I was saying that when I get married, I will do everything, my children will live well and all that. But things were not going the way I envisaged. It wasn't going the way I really planned for. This was not the kind of home that I thought I would have. So the challenge was before us. But there's something that was so uh, unique was that we 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 come together and make up our mind that it is our challenge and we are going to resolve it have you been in a situation whereby your landlord even post your house rents like nepa be post yeah. that you are owing the house on, on um, like a notice like board a notice board, board a notice board where they post not even just a notice board for isolated for house rent alone 
when they say this one is going for Nepal, Nepal they'll be, put my Nepal bill and my house rent together. They tell that ah, why they've not done they, that is it's not good that they shouldn't have put the Nepal bill. The man will say that is his own compound, that this guy refused to pay. That everyone should know that he's going that it's not his own house and all that. Well, mm -hmm. good man, I've begged him several times. So there was even a time that I got to the house one time like that, and my neighbor had to switch off the lights, the kitchen light. Where I was living, we used two of us use a kitchen. That was how the kind of house I was living there, we use a kitchen. So the neighbor had to switch off the light when my wife was inside the kitchen cooking and switch off the light. And my wife called, he said, why? He said, how can you be using light that you did not buy? Mm. That we bought the light, each time the light will get spoiled, you people cannot buy light. That no, we won't allow that to happen again. Anytime you want to use light, go and buy your own. Mm. And my wife just looked at it. My wife knew that it was because of what we were going through that we were not able to meet up with some certain things. Mm. So when I came home, I just came home from my hostel and from my going out to look for some one or two things to put together. So when I came home, my wife said, I, after he gave me food when I ate, I look at her countenance, I know she wasn't happy. I said, I hope all is well. She said she was humiliated today. I said, what happened? And she started telling me that then look at what this neighbor said. That of the last, she started crying. I was broken in my heart. But I told my wife, held her hand, I said, don't worry. Bob is not the problem. Bob is not our issue. The issue we have here is our finance. Let us be focused on how to change our financial life. Once we change it, we can buy as much Bob. Not only the one that we use, but the one that we can give to others. That today she said that to you, but don't ever treat people that way. Remember, purpose was why we got married. So don't ever treat that. God is just making you to see that when you get into a certain level, you should not treat people like that. That we never have any issue. The issue is that let's focus on our finance. Don't mind. So we, we, we imagine if we now look at all that. And she ask, when I get to there, I say, look at you. It's less man. Look at how they treat me this day. Look at what they said to me. Look at it become an issue. You understand what I'm trying to say? I'll now be hustling to meet up. Not being focused. Not be under pressure. I'll be under pressure rather than be inspired. Mm. And we held our hand. We talked to the Lord. Held your hand. That's yes, that same moment. day. That same moment. The same moment she was in the kitchen. We held our hand. I'm telling you the story. We held our hand. And we pray to God concerning our feelings. And we let God know that look at what we are going through. We prayed and we were comforted. It was as though nothing happened. Outside, they were saying something about it. But inside, we were okay. It were building a home, not just a house. So we found out that we get used to ourselves within that period. The love was getting stronger, even though there was nothing to call for. There is no resources are not about we keep seeing the future i can remember one time my wife now told me that even why things were going on i look at that you become a great man he always tell me so always even say, in the midst of that, that so, so, so no, you know so i've been in the cup I, I i grew up in the ghetto mm -hmm. and the place where i grew up there was no flats we only live in face me i face you you know face me, you say everything where a, the husband maybe for some reason could not buy something home and the one you say you are a useless man, mm. serious quarrel in the compound. I'm, so, I'm, I will start looking for people to talk to, and people will now start even seeing reason that are you supposed to be responsible? Why can't you do that? But she wasn't like that. I see. So my wife was not like that. So in the midst of this challenge, she will tell you that you, you are going somewhere. No, she was. She will be telling me my future. That's what I that I started by telling you that help me. So, and the word Ezra was a savior, and the word. Uh, uh, can't let go. That means strong. That mm. will fit into help you because there will be a time of need in marriage. Mm. There's a time you need your spouse. Mm. You will not if the word that you are using. Imagine you are saying useless man. The uselessness will appear to you. Mm. It's a prophecy. You are speaking the future because you command words towards your husband. That means some men's life are useless today because, because of, of their spouse. spouse. Yes. So my wife will tell me, you said you tell me that sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll if you see me worry, said, No, I know I'm so sure that you'll be a great person. Hmm. I'm so sure. I, I will see greatness in you. I know 
that you know there was a time that i said i know there was one time that uh, she was sick seriously sick but i could not even afford a card money to buy card for doctor to attend to her hospital card that was 500 naira for doctor to attend to her you understand what i'm telling you but as i'm talking to you now in my organization i don't pay for hospital bills even oh. though we don't use hospital like that mm. i'm on hmo properly taking care of that she can go anytime she gave birth to uh children without me uh, i'm getting i'm going you know you start you know, something there you understand yes, yes. that's to say there is no fight that you cannot win there is no fight you can't win there's no when fight. the husband and wife are I agree they mm. say when two shall agree concerning a team it shall be established mm. i found that in my marriage is a ministry i found it in marriage because we first of all conquer our finance we have things to deal with. You nobody can deal with those things outside your marriage. Mm. You are the one to deal with. I can remember when I was talking to my father in law, I told him I, 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 I told him what uh, when he heard what we went through, he was telling me, How can you allow yourself to go through all those things and you didn't bring back my children to me? I said, No, <laughs> that they are married. I'm married, they are my own family now. If they, since my wife agreed to stay with me, I can't give her to anybody. Mm. How long will I be exchanging my wife? Mm. We stay together, we overcome together. Mm -hmm. We win our battle. We mm. choose our battle and win our battle. Are you get what I'm telling you? So you don't, like I, I used to tell someone, I said, in time of crisis, is to look inward. Mm. Don't look outside. When there's a challenge, make up your mind to face it. My wife made up her mind. She never called any member of her family. Only a younger sister that came at a certain time when she was seven, that witnessed uh, some certain things that we went through, if not nobody till this, oh. to the point that she was rolling on the floor, bleeding. I could not afford us to do. I only resolved in praying. We agreed. We asked. We talked to the Lord, and she was healed. That's to tell you that if you are together with your spouse, healing takes place. Oh. I saw miracle in our union. I get what I'm saying. So I look at marriage beyond property, beyond uh, resources. There is miracles. There are miracles in marriage. I saw how God can make things happen when you are together with your spouse. God healed my wife because I could not afford it. But we trust, and she trusts in the Lord with me, and she received her healing. Oh. They asked me to pay about two hundred thousand. Someone that could not afford five five hundred naira card. Mm. They're asking him to go. Up. The doctor <laughs> yeah, just had to deposit. Yes, deposit. Then after the everything, but God just took care of it. I get it. There are a lot of things that I may not have enough time to explain. But I just, in a nutshell, that in a nutshell is to tell you that there is no battle in marriage that both of you agree without seeing it as a problem, but as a challenge that have come to both of you to overcome. Because when you win one, you are promoted. Mm. When you win another, you become you promote to the next mm. level. So challenge is a normal thing in marriage. But those things, when it's all about both of you, once you are great, they become bread for you. Mm. Now concerning the finance, sometimes we'll pray, we'll sing, we'll just, we are so happy. The joy cannot be taken away so from that us. Means, even though so there was no money and finances, mm. it didn't stop your happiness. No. Do you know why I was so happy? And uh, it's not even happiness. If I say happiness, it will be understatement it's because joy. happiness has to do with what the present state yes. is giving to you. Oh. But the present state is not giving us anything good. <laughs> <laughs> so why would I be happy? <laughs> so it was joy, innermost joy. And that comes by inspiration of the Spirit oh. and using God's principle at a time. That was, I thank God for the woman. She was able to use God's principle at the time we found ourselves. You know that in the Bible, when Job going, was going through financial crisis, the Bible says the wife said, "Why are you suffering?" I said, "Just cause God and and, that, and let us have a good uh, so, good life." I want to ask her. In the midst of this challenge, your husband talked about you were in the kitchen one day and someone put up the lights. You came back, you touched, you cried. What was in your mind? Because you didn't insult your husband. You didn't feel that he couldn't afford even ordinary bulb or ordinary electricity bill. Rather, he said, he said, now, I'm quoting it, that you, you were, rather, you were speaking his future. So, I, I'm trying to think, why, why were you thinking like that? What affected your mind? That you didn't think like some other women would have thought? 
Okay, thank you so much, Pastor Dave, again. Um, you know, when I was getting married, during our marriage counseling, one of the things they told us then, they said, um, the responsibility of your home is in your hand as a woman. Oh. So you should always go on your Sorry. knees. Sorry, even though they say the marriage is there, yes. but the responsibility of the home yes. is to the woman. Yes. So if your husband is not doing well, you say the man is a useless man, like some women say it's a prophecy because that same mouth you can use to build your home and if your home is fruitful and productive you enjoy it so from that teaching i learned a lot and i discovered that if there is no money in the house the man is not bringing that thing that i desire it means it is my responsibility you know when that incident happened it was not a good sight at all it was not you know, if he's talking about it, he wasn't there, so he would not really understand what happened. You know, where you, as a woman, about to prepare something, just something you are even using faith to prepare, you know, and somebody just come and just put off the bulb. She put off the bulb, and everywhere became dark, and just for me to asked that okay when she put off the bob i thought maybe she didn't really know that i was using it so i had to put it on back and when i put it on she came again with this fierce anger and put it off and said do you know the cost of bob and then bob was just 50 naira mm. but that 50 naira i don't have it to it buy it available. yes so do you know the cost of bob why will, who gave you the right to put on the bob don't try that again. If I don't put it on, you're not the one that bought it. If I don't put it on, don't try it. And she was saying, uh, the way she was vibrating in front of me, as if the next moment she's going to land me is <laughs> hot slap. I was just like a very gentle woman just looking at her. And the only thing that came out of my, my mouth with very hot tears is, I'm sorry. And I went into the house. When I got into the room, he was not at home. I said, it is time to cause a change. That's what you said? Yes, I told myself. I said, it is time to cause a change. Mm. This has to stop. I went into the room. I knelt on, I went on my knees. I told God. I said, God, you said that he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtained favor from the Lord. My husband has found me. I'm a good thing. And he obtained that favor from you. I started praying and I was praying, I was praying. I was praying, I was praying. I was professor upon him. I was saying so many things upon him. That was the day I know that change took place. Mm. And when he came, I told him, we'll enter into the prayer again. Mm. And we prayed. If you can remember, it was the next week yeah. that they called him for the job. Just when you decided the change, it took yes. one week. Just one week. We made up our mind that it has to change. It cannot continue like this. If I'm a Christian, there should be a sign that I'm a Christian. Mm. I am worshipping God. It has to change. And we make up our mind that day. We cause that change. And that change took place. Yes. That's what the Bible says. It said, either find a wife, find a good thing, and obtain a favor. favor. I'm a wife, and I'm a good thing. What and that thing favor... Said now, sorry. Recently, I was talking with somebody, and the person told me that he chased the wife home oh, away. I said, why? He said, because the Bible says he that finds a, a wife, find a good thing. He said, I married my wife and a bad, bad thing they have for No, no, it's not a joke. <laughs> That's what the guy told me. I, said, I was like, I, I just didn't know. As he said it, he left. I, I was thinking, so your wife is a bad luck. He's a It's another part. It's another part. Wow. Okay, you know, the next week, that was when they called him for the job. From that moment that we did that prayer, we knew there was a, um, a we had this confidence that changes are taking place. Mm. So the next week they called him. And when they called him for the job, that very week, he came home one day with money. And he just gave me the money. And when he gave me the money, I called a young guy in the, in the compound. I said, can you check the whole compound and check all the bulb? Anyone that is not working, oh. let me know. All the compound, not just for Yo. from our own main flat, all the compound, 
if there's any soccer that is not okay, let me know. He was like surprised looking at me. <laughs> he checked everywhere, everywhere, and he gave me um, the, the quotation, everything that we needed to change in the compound. The house is not ours, but I decided that I will cause a change in this place. Mm. We need to dis, uh, demonstrate love. I gave him the money. He bought everything and changed and fixed all the light, all the bulb in the I, compound. I'm just wondering what happened when the people now discovered that. So they come say, who put all this money? So said, uh, what? <laughs> it was amazing. amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. I had to prepare something. I called that out. I said, come, let's celebrate. Oh. I called that out. And I never show her for once that I was angry because mm. if she had not made that she pushed thing, you. she pushed me. She helped you. So mm. I didn't hold it against her. Mm. If she had not done that, maybe the step we took, we wouldn't we have wouldn't taken, have it. taken you start, it. You see, be maybe behind, yes. not where you are right now. Yes, it was a push. Yes, it was a push. Wow, it's amazing. It's amazing. And now you have a glorious home, and now you have children. Sis. So you were telling us earlier about her not uh, based on doctor's reports that oh she can't have a child. So how are you able to now solve that? You, you can see that one of the uh, greatest things, like what you said, that the man just took a part of God's word and quoted it and be the reason why he sent the wife away. Now, come to think of it, one of the things that one sees in marriage is you want to have your own child. And after marriage, doctor is telling you that your wife cannot give birth, not as if you will try. There is no place for a child to come in, no valopian to you. And you have such reports. This is serious. This is not this word. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I didn't consult anybody. I didn't tell any of my family. I didn't. Uh, talk to my uh, mother or any they, they keep asking questions what is going on what is happening how come your wife even to the point my dad was even saying let's see what we can do traditionally and all that but i said no i'm a christian if i cannot deal with this then god is not involved in the matter so but the first aspect was that i love my wife so much and i resolve in my mind that for her to do that and give herself that she wants to stay with me I will not disappoint her. And I have a strong conviction in my spirit that there's nothing God cannot do. There's nothing God cannot do. So we keep the same principle that we use for our finance. We apply it in our childbearing. We resolve the same principle. The same principle. That means we came together again. Yeah, we came together again. We, we, we call forth. We start praying talking about our child and all that. And let me tell you something. When both of you are one, God start giving you people ideas. God start giving you people ideas. God start ushering you to where, you know, what you are getting is what you seek for. If you, are, if you, if you start thinking diverse, you start meeting people that will help you to diverse your life. You start having relationships that will aid what you are thinking because you are attracted to your thoughts. But I never had such as a thought. I have that mindset that this is my wife and I will stay with her no matter come what may be.